I'm Roy from Roy's Garage. Today I'm going to be working on a 1996 Toyota Tacoma. I'm going to be showing you how to replace the ignition lock cylinder. These are the tools I'm going to be using today to do this job. Phillips screwdriver, quarter inch ratchet, quarter inch extension, 10 millimeter socket, flat tip screwdriver, and some graphite spray. This is the part I'm going to be using today to do this job. This is an ignition lock cylinder and it comes with new keys. Okay, the problem is when you put the key in, it doesn't want to turn. You got to play around with the key in order for this thing to turn. The ignition lock cylinder is worn out. I tried the spare key and make no difference. So I'm going to show you how to replace this lock cylinder. Okay, first we're going to be removing this panel. There's five screws you got to remove. One, two, three, four, and five. So this one is with a Phillips screw. And the rest is a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, so I gotta remove this rubber piece right here. In order to remove the lock cylinder, you gotta turn the key, the ignition to the on position, two clicks. Okay, so there's a hole under here. You gotta stick a small screwdriver in and push this pin in. And then pull the lock cylinder out. Okay, so in order to put this new lock cylinder, you need to push this button in. So what you need to do is turn the key until this button goes in. So now you can slide this ignition lock cylinder in place. You push it in all the way, turn the key to the off position and pull it out. Okay, we're gonna be putting on this rubber piece. Now we're going to be putting on this plastic panel.
Okay, so I'm going to be using some graphite spray to shoot a little into the cylinder. That's optional. So that's how you replace an ignition lock cylinder. Don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and I see you in the next video. Aloha.